I am trying to get out of bed. I was just working on the vlog for yesterday and Johnny Boy made me some breakfast in bed. Got a nice egg sandwich and I need to get ready to go to work because I gotta be there soon. So I'm gonna eat this and head over there real quick. I only have to be there for like two to three hours, so that's not bad. Hey guys, so I went to work for just a few hours and I had to stop by the office of my job to pick up some paperwork, which is always fun, right? <laughs> I gave them my vacation hours and everything's a-okay. So I'm headed home and John's been texting me that he has killed about 10 flies in our house and he's like, oh my gosh, how are these getting into our home? Usually we have one or two pesky flies that get in through our door, but he's like, 10? How the heck? That just doesn't make any sense. So he went outside and he said that there's a hole in the window that they're coming in. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, our windows are closed and how do you get holes in a window or through the uh, wood uh, that surrounds it? I don't know, maybe he'll explain to us when we get home. Johnny boy is gonna show me where the flies are coming in. This one's hard to see, but um, I'm having a hard time finding it myself, but I can, t I can tell they're coming in and I'll tell you why. Uh, I saw a fly on the inside of this um, plastic that's on the outside, inside of that window, in between that plastic and this. So somewhere up here is a hole. Hmm. And then over here. So what, are you gonna just tape the whole window down? It's the top. There's tons of flies over here. Yeah, it's because the trash is in this direction. Yeah, well, there's a hole right here. I can stick my finger through. And as soon as I came over here, right here, the first time, I put my hand right here, a ton of flies just came out like this. Ew. Yeah. But this is just a screen. Isn't there another window behind that? Forget the screen. Okay, but this you can stick your hand into the apartment just by. Oh. Going in. Okay, I see what you mean. So no. we we need duct tape. Yeah. I mean we need caulk, but I mean I don't know. We're at Big Lots trying to find some duct tape to cover the hole where our window is and try to get rid of those pesky flies because John killed like over ten. I killed two, and there's still two and three in the house. They're just coming in and it's like we have a fly infestation. I hate flies. I hate the set buzzing sound they make when they fly by your ear. And I can't even sleep with them. Like if there's a fly in my room and I'm going to sleep, I can't fall asleep. It's just annoying. So Big Lots doesn't have duct tape, so we're gonna try Family Dollar next. I don't think they have it. I'm looking. Wait, there's some hardware over here. He found it. That's good. Four dollars. All right, we got the duct tape. John is patching up the window. Oh, I get my glove up. Here's the double tape. I guess I should get to my fly swatting skills inside while he tapes up the window. This is a bad part of summer, especially living in a basement with only a bulkhead, is that the bugs live in the bulkhead and stay around it and then they go into it when you open the door. Freaking spider next to me. Hi babe! What's the matter? Flies are bothering you? <laughs> what? It's all right, it's all right. Mommy's home and mommy's gonna kill the flies. Oh, there's a couple in here. I got my weapon. I haven't done a question of the day in a while, so question of the day for you guys is, what is the most annoying bug that you just can't stand, especially when they're in your home? You tell me. Before it used to be bees, now it's flies and crickets because those are the ones that recently been coming into my house. Ooh, shh, I see one. Oh, did I get you? Yep. Here he is. 
Gotcha. All right, now I gotta get some more. Flies literally give me the heebie-jeebies. I literally have, I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but I literally have goosebumps from trying to swat them. Like when they come near me, my hair's raised. It's so, <laughs> I can't stand them. I hope the duct tape works, because I don't want any more in my home. They like to hang around the light, so I'm trying to find the light and see if they're there. Oh, here's another one. I wish I could show you, but it's hard for you guys to see them because even for me, it's hard for me to see them unless they're like flying by. My walls are like a light green, so it's hard. Like you can see them when they're passing by that, but you can't see them when they're like passing by a dark area because they just blend in. All right, guys, you're gonna have to sit down for this one because I can't hold the camera and swat. Hannah's scared of me swatting. These things do not want to go away. Every time I kill one, there's another one. John's opening it, and there's one right there. You get it? No, because I'm hitting this plastic. Let's see if you could cover them. Part where it's open. Oh, flies! Give me the hippie jibbies! See, look. They like to go on the light. Uh, by the sheer number of flies that's coming in, you would think uh, it was the apocalypse outside. <laughs> There's another one. Ugh, <laughs> oh, the sound they make. Did you get it? I touched it. I don't know if any of you guys have watched Breaking Bad, but this reminds me of season 5, I think, where <laughs> the whole episode was Walter White and Jesse trying to swat the fly that got into their lab because it would contaminate the meth. Oh my god. And he would get so mad and stuff. I feel like him right now, except we're dealing with more than one fly. And we don't have meth, obviously. But I don't want it on my food. Like, what the heck? Yeah, that episode was funny, but me going through this right now is not funny. They're all over the place. And when they buzz together, it sounds like a symphony of flies. Uh -huh. It's annoying. Both windows are closed up. I don't hear a fly, so I think we got them all. John said he had killed 10 before I even got home. And he killed two while he was cleaning the window, so that's 12. And then I, my body count right here... I have them all right here. Ten. We had at least 25 flies in here. Oh my god. Wait. Do you hear that? Nope. There's another one. Finally got the last one. 11 to my body count. And John has his body count, but he didn't save the... Uh-oh. Did I just see another one? There's another one. I'm going to just flip out right now. Maybe that is a figment of my imagination. Maybe I'm going insane from all this killing of flies. It's gonna haunt me in my dreams or something. Anyways, we have resorted to putting everything away and starting cooking. We got some chicken on the stove top and we're gonna make some chicken fajitas. And then we have rehearsal in like two and a half hours. That time went by super fast, especially because most of the time was taken up from the fly. So the other day when we were at Mark Basket, we saw that they had dragon fruit. Ooh, <laughs> funky looking thing, but we were curious and we bought it. Very expensive, $5.99 just for one. And we just wanted to try it because I've only had dragon fruit drinks, like flavored drinks. But I've never had the actual fruit, so I'm going to try it now. I figured maybe uh, at home, maybe, I mean, maybe uh, on my own, I'll make that one. Let's look at the inside. That's the inside. Looks like, it looks like it could be flavored cookies and cream inside <laughs> because of the color. We tried the dragon fruit and we think it's alright. It's not very sweet and it has a little bit of a bitterness to it. And by the way, there's two more flies flying around. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They're haunting us. They don't leave us alone. I'm just getting annoyed. But anyways, we are going to make a smoothie with this because we think it would probably be better than just eating it straight up. And the fajitas look amazing. 
I honestly wish that you could smell through your screen right now <laughs> because it smells divine. I, I, we need to invent that, <laughs> that you could smell through your screen the food that's cooking. Make your uh, viewing pleasure even more awesome. <laughs> We're making our tacos now. I just killed three more, so that's 14 to my body count. If we keep getting them, we're gonna have to find a way to figure out like where they're coming from. If they have a nest in here or something. And I hope it's not in the insulation above us because that's just gonna be horrible. Right now we're just building our tacos or burritos, whatever you wanna call them. And we're putting uh, sweet plantains in it this time. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The only thing I don't have is tomatoes and salsa. Oh well, I'll make do. <laughs> so I always forget to <laughs> vlog at rehearsal just because I want to get it done and trying to focus on people and I'm the leader so I need to know that everybody's doing their part and give them direction and all that stuff. So with that being said, we're back home from rehearsal and we came back. There's still more flies. There's still more flies. It's the never ending story. I'm going to go insane and if I don't get these stupid bugs before I fall asleep, I'm not going to be able to fall asleep. John's with the <laughs> with the fly swatter now. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting rabbit. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have reached the end. It's time for bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that means now it's time for Things, things said, said from the, the bed. bed. It's a weekly dose of lessons learned for marriage. This is the time of the vlog. Every Friday before bed, we want to share with you something that we learned or did this week that benefited our marriage and we'd like to share with you and hopefully can inspire you to take action in your own relationships. Mm -hmm. So today, actually, Jonathan was kind of getting very stressed out. Yes. And he, he was first stressed out from the flies. Thank you, flies! Which, by mm -hmm. the way, we killed a total of 33. Mm -hmm. Where the heck they came from? Beyond me. Anyways, but he was just stressed out about work. And just that we had to get a lot of things done before Florida, which we live in 10 days. Mm -hmm. And it just got over him. Mm. Where he was kind of just taking it out on me. I was not taking out. She just interprets it that way. Listen. She interprets <laughs> it that way. No. I'm stressed out. Everything around He's raising me. his voice. No. And flipping out because, you know, I'm not ready to do what he says. And I came home starving. So, you know, that hangry feeling. Like, nothing matters until you eat. Because mm -hmm. you can't function. And he gets like that, too. So, I'm like, you should understand how I feel right now. But he was just so stressed out. So I took it upon myself mm. to put behind me what I was feeling because I was very frustrated. But I put it behind me just so I could focus on him for a minute so that he can calm down. I think it helped. Did you feel like it helped? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know why I get like that. I, I'm usually not a stressed out person. I used to be like all the time. And then I'm, I've kind of gotten to this little sporadic little bit of stress here and there <laughs> like I just and then today it was just like I almost got had a panic attack and it was over nothing I mean it really was I got to the point that I was like I know what's coming next I gotta calm down I just felt like I needed to even though I was super hungry put it beside me just for the moment so that we can talk about what's really going on mm -hmm. and sometimes you got to do that even though it's really really hard to because you want to be selfish sometimes mm -hmm. and be like no i matter right now not you but like you got to know your spouse and how they function and how they how much what makes them tick and stuff like that and he's usually a calm peaceful guy and he mm -hmm. wasn't calm at that moment so mm -hmm. i'm like i gotta get him back to his calm moment so I would say for you guys in your relationships, learning how to put things aside for the moment to think about the other person because sometimes it's you just can't be selfish in that moment. And then after that, I ate and I felt better. But I felt good knowing that I was helping my spouse out in that situation. And I guess also knowing that, you know, when you are stressed out, be careful of 
how you use your words because you could be stressed out everything around you and that's you, you have legit feelings about everything around you at that moment you know whether they're too much or unrealistic that's a totally different scenario but don't direct it at your spouse don't treat them that way and i and it's tough I, it's tough for me because i mean it's not her that's the problem it's everything around me and i need to do something about it and and it's more like hey we need to do something <laughs> about it, you know, and it's not that she's the problem or that she's doing something wrong. It's that everything around me and I got to realize my words are directed towards her when they're not meant to be. And I know that he doesn't mean that stuff, but you, you sometimes can get what other people have on mm -hmm. you and mm -hmm. you don't want that. I told I even said to him today, I'm like. One stressed out person is bad enough. You don't want two stressed out people because then mm -hmm. it's going to be a whole like fireball. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So I was like, I'm, I'm going to put my things aside for now so that I can get you back to this level, not mm -hmm. here. Sometimes swallowing your pride and putting something on hold so that you can help your spouse and mm -hmm. get to the root of the problem. And we did today, so that was that was good. So I hope this inspired you guys for your relationships. And that's the end of the vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. I know it was all about killing flies. <laughs> but we really had a major problem. And I haven't heard any flies. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. This is not wood, but whatever. <laughs> we don't want any more of it. Hopefully we killed all the ones that were in here. And none of, any more is not coming in. <laughs> Alright guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if this is your first time. We do daily vlogs, challenges, marriage advice, and more. So be part of the fun. Hit that subscribe button. And we will see you tomorrow. Remember to love your life. Bye. This is already cooked. So I guess their definition of hot pot is different.